I'm calling this the Winter Soldier build. While it's capable of, for Zane is on another level damage and DPS wise, while maintaining amazing health and shield regen benefits. Mayhem 3, Mayhem 4, it just doesn't matter, this build wrecks all. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 build video. If you guys do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Okay so the other day I posted a Zane build which I called Max Damage. I mean the build is great, it's super powerful and it allows you to do some great things on Zane. That build is a lot different to this one though, this one in my opinion is more of an everyday build you can go on using and making your own with Zane. Now since the scene their class mod was introduced I've wanted to revisit an old Sub-Zero build I did a while back. I guess I know there are multiple Sub-Zero builds out there, each slightly different. The one I used though was up there with the best versions in my opinion. Today I edit it, well I say slightly, today I take that build and do edit it. Pair it with this scene their class mod, pair it with a shield, grenade and a certain few weapons to bring you the Winter Soldier Zane build. I mean I can't call it the new Sub-Zero build or Sub-Zero part 2 or version 2 due to the fact I don't feel you are limited to cryo in terms of dealing maximum damage. So let's get into this build and firstly guys you need that scene dead class mod. Any in reality will do but the more extra points into Donny Brook the better. This is the main item for this build by the way, this class mod is a must. What this does is activate Zane's selected kill skills upon hitting and dealing damage to enemies. So no need to kill an enemy to get those kill skills. Plus it adds an additional 25% effect bonus to each kill skill you have selected which is massive. Now let's talk about the build before we actually go through the weapons, shields, uh, artifacts and so forth. Starting with the Hitman Sentinel Tree. Firstly here you want 5 points into Violent Speed. This is one of the many kill skills which activate and gain 25% damage bonus effect due to that class mod. So 5 points give you plus 30% movement speed and a plus 25% due to the class mod, which I do believe is 25% of the 30% you have and not 25% on top of the 30% which would make this theoretically 55% movement speed, that is not the case. Now pairing this with 5 points into violent momentum means we get quite a massive damage boost already, and this is just 2 perks people. Then you guys want to apply 1 point within cool hand, which increases reload speed. 3 points within Salvation which gives us important life steal at 9% per damage dealt before the extra benefits of that class mod by the way. We then have Death Follows Close which gives us an increased effect and duration on all kill skills selected. Another 25% effect bonus here meaning here with this class mod selected we're getting an additional 50% additional bonus on all kill skills we are using here which is pretty cool. I then put 2 points into Violent Violence which increases fire rate by 9%, not including the additional effect bonuses, and 3 points into Playing Dirty which gives us a chance to shoot additional projectiles at a standard here of 45%, which comes into effect every time the Seeing Dead class mod resets the kill skills by the way. We then put 3 points into Good Misfortune. This with this class mod means we don't have to kill enemies to extend our action skills, just dealing damage works perfect here. And this is super important for this build. Sentinel is being used here with an action skill slot 1 with the augments of Bad Dose which weakens enemies and buffs Zanes in terms of fire rate and movement speed, again adding to the benefits of violent momentum. We also use the augment of Static Field which drains enemy shields and replenishes Zanes, which is important. Okay so we are going to move on to Double Agent Digiclone. Here we have 5 points into Synchronicity which gives us plus 20% damage per action skill we have active. This build uses 2 action skills which are more or less always going to be active so that just with this alone is plus 40% damage. 
We then put 4 points into Donny Brook. Here you can put 5 in if you want and only applying 2 into Good Misfortune, that's up to you. Play about with them and see which one you feel offers more. I do feel this one offers the best damage though within this build, so the more here the better, hence why I state getting as many additional points from the class mod here is a must. And although Digiclone won't be used, it still works amazingly for Zane. Next up we have Undercover, the Barrier. Firstly we put 5 into Adrenaline, this is important for the simple fact if we ain't using those action skills we need to get them back as quickly as possible. This really helps there, when paired with all the things that build up and regen on your shield. Again though this, although is important, it's more of a substitute perk due to the fact for the most part you will have your action skills active. And because we use the barrier here, you'll be more or less invincible within that barrier. Next up 4 points within ready for action which improves shield recharge rate and shield recharge delay. Next up brain fridge, 5 points here. This is important to the build for sure. This is the winter part of the build, the rest is the soldier. And yes this effect works on weapons that are not cryo, you don't have to use cryo weapons to freeze enemies people. I mean it would be more effective and more efficient with a cryo weapon but it's not necessary. We then have Confident Competence selected. While Zane's shields are active, he gains increased gun damage and accuracy. Up to 35% gun damage guys, this is massive here paired with up to 33% accuracy. We then have Utility Belt Check 2. What this does is make all incoming elemental damage count as kinetic damage, which is amazing here. So Barry is used within Action Skill Slot 2, and the augments here to go with are Retaliation, where Zane and nearby enemies gain increased gun damage for a few seconds after the barrier takes damage, plus 10% gun damage from this, and I also use this all round augment which protects from all sides, which I think is great. So that's the skill tree build. Now on to the weapons. Now weapons here I suggest you look at for are versions which offer anointed such as this. While Sentinel is active, gain 50% damage of said element. It just adds even more damage on top of the stacked damage bonuses from the skill tree build. And I feel this works best with this build because you will more or less have that Sentinel active 99% of the time you are in battle. But you can get anointed items for use with a barrier which would be great too like the accuracy increased by 60% and critical hit damage increased by 30% which could be a great addition. But those two anointeds in my opinion are the best to use on weapons with this build. Shield here really can be mixed up depending on what you feel is best for you. Me personally, I like shields with this anointment while Sentinel is active, movement speed is increased by 15%. Again guys, this is stacking with violent momentum giving us even more stacked damage. But shields like this one also, the Sprinter Stop Gap, the anointment works amazingly too, instantly recharging your shields, adding to the benefits of all skill tree perks counting on that shield being regened like adrenaline and confident competence. This transformer here could be used as backup for additional damage if you do somehow let your action skills run out, this would be super effective while they cool down. And the 10 seconds of extra damage this offers is more than enough for them to cool down. The grenade I use is basically just like I mentioned with that transformer shield, purely for the fact this build doesn't actually use or require grenades, so anything here which helps any part of your build is fine. I just like to have a backup when I do indeed lose those action skills and need extra damage while they recharge or cool down. Artifact here can vary, I feel an artifact here which offers more movement speed would work great, but again guys bonuses applied could vary, and depending on the weapons you choose to use, an artifact could indeed add additional damage bonuses here to said weapons. Now what this build actually does is make Mayhem 3 too easy, I mean it's seriously too easy. It doesn't even matter on the modifiers either. And to be honest guys it does the same to Mayhem 4, it just makes everything just so so easy to kill it's unreal. Due to the stack damage bonuses and the protection using lifesteal and stacking health benefits and so forth, shields etc etc, as you can see on screen now, as long as enemies are there to be shot at, you are near invincible while being shot. This is without the protection of the barrier too. While you're inside the barrier, or what you're seeing now works exactly the same, but you're literally invincible because you're inside that barrier. And again, just hitting enemies, just hitting targets, will trigger your kill skills. And because good misfortune comes into play because of the class mod and spraying and hitting enemies, it means you can constantly keep regening your action skills, meaning they never run out if there's enough enemies in front of you. So you're literally invincible while in this build dealing maximum damage. 
So yes guys, the Winter Soldier build, in my opinion the ultimate Zayn setup. I'm just searching now for a few more weapons to fully complete this, but I do feel this is one of the best Zayn builds out there right now. One I feel many of you Zayn mains out there could indeed get on using and really enjoying. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.